get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. We're here live at the Sweet and Snack Show here with Tom Healy. He's founder of No Bake Cookie, hailing from Oregon. So, Tom, what gave you the idea to start this company? Well, it was truly my wife. She's the CEO of the company. That's a smart answer. It it is. It is. (laughs) Um, We also own some stores in Oregon, and we, my wife, started making these. Uh, We put them out, um, and we could not keep them on the shelf. It was amazing. So we decided to spin this off and uh, start the company from there. No Bake Cookies is a traditional cookie that's been out since the Great Depression. And um, it is something that's, we've just taken it back to what, how grandma made it back in the 50s. And uh, we've taken it where it's a um, gluten-free, non-GMO uh, product now. So, What was the first flavor that your wife came up with? Well, there's uh, two or three million Google entries for recipes for No Bakes, but the traditional cookie is the chocolate. That's the original uh, product so okay. yeah so what other flavors do you have we have chocolate uh, peanut butter coconut macadamia chocolate mint and we got a whole line of different flavors so okay. so where where can people find it well we're throughout the country now um, a lot of different retailers uh, a lot of convenience uh, general grocery uh, specialty grocery as well okay. yeah so talk about Tom for a second a proud moment from from the company when did it start uh, the company's eight years old. Our first customer right off the bat was uh, the uh, Nordstrom Espresso Bars. Um, so right off the bat, we were shipping all around the country to start with. So that was a real nice uh, start to the company to get it really rolling. So how was the transition from your wife making it to, obviously, she can't make every cookie when it's no. in Nordstrom's. No. <laughs> how was that transition? Um, I guess like anything, it is... Um, uh, trying at times, but we've uh, we set up our own dedicated gluten-free facility in uh, Bend, Oregon, and um, from there we just keep expanding out. So yeah. So what's an especially proud moment for you with the company? Especially proud moment. Um, you know, I'm not coming up with one right off the top. Any milestone that you hit, like you got into a certain retailer that you were excited about, or. Um, we do go after a lot of uh, chain retailers, so there's uh, been quite a few exciting, you know, from different uh, Kroger chains to uh, Costco to, um, oh, I don't know, a lot of different, uh, QVC, that's always a fun one, being on, on air QVC. there. Yeah. What's it like to be on QVC? Then? Um, are we, we hired a talent to go on, because yeah. obviously I'm not the, uh, the uh, talent to be on there, uh, but it, it did very well sold out, and uh, that was quite an interesting run with it. So, Tom, where can people find it online? What's the website? It's uh, the no bake cookie co dot com and uh, we have a full line uh, also available on Amazon. Awesome. Check it out. Thank you. We're here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We have Eric, the founder of Avo Love, and I think this is one of the first chips that is fully made of avocado. Uh, yeah, that's right. We uh, just launched a couple of months ago at Expo West, and we are the first and only company to make uh, any snack product out of real Haas avocados. So we actually take fresh avocados, we mash them up and dehydrate them, and then put a little bit of seasoning on them. Yum. Yeah. So how did you get the idea to do this? Uh, just kind of looking at the market. So we also own the No Bake Cookie Company. So we've been uh, coming to these shows for a while and kind of seeing what, what's going on. And uh, the plant-based, better-for-you snacking category is really taking off. And then I also sort of noticed that uh, avocados are really, you know, really popular as well. So just kind of put the two together and then uh, started looking into ways to do it. And turns out it's very difficult to dry an avocado. Uh, it took us about two years. We have a whole bunch of uh, patents and uh, IP around the process. And uh, we we nailed it. It took, a, it took a while. It was difficult, but we got it going and we're here at the show. So pretty exciting. So how did you tell me about the flavors you have? 
Yeah, so uh, our original kind of most, pack, yeah, our most, uh, you know, avocado flavored um, skew is the pink Himalayan salt. So it's just avocados with a little bit of salt on it. Um, so this one, if, if you really like avocado flavor, um, this, this will give you a lot of that. Um, we have, of course, the uh, sriracha. You got to have a sriracha flavor these days. So a uh, little bit of sweet and then followed by a, a spicy hit. And then after sort of the seasoning, on all the skews really, after the seasoning goes away, um, you get this long uh, lingering avocado flavor that sort of has that rich uh, creamy, creamy flavor, just like a fresh avocado. Um, so we also have the zesty nacho, which is my favorite. Uh, it's a vegan I cheese, actually. One. Oh, vegan cheese. Yeah, so everything we do is vegan, uh, gluten-free, non-GMO, um, zero sugar. So this one was pretty awesome. We developed a, a vegan cheese for it. And then, uh, of course, a chili lime. So it's got a, a good good lime and a little bit of spice to it. So. so where can people get it? So right now, we just launched a couple months ago. Right now, we're only available on Amazon, but we're working on getting out uh, and some retailers, um, trying to get our production up and running. And uh, Who should be carrying it? <laughs> um, well, so coming out of Expo West a couple months ago, we have a long list of retailers. Yeah. Um, several uh, regions of Whole Foods, uh, lots of lots of big name retailers are waiting for it, but we're just yeah. trying to get our uh, production capacity there. So okay. we're uh, actually fulfilling our first order into the Manhattan, New York area um, this month, and so we'll be in a lot of natural cool. stores out there. People should get this before it's off the shelves. I feel like this is going to fly off the shelves. Yeah. Eric, so talk about just one last thing. What's uh, the proudest moment so far from this journey? It's, you know, people think, oh, you just put this in, a, you mash it up, you make it in a chip. It's, yeah. a, it's a long, tough process. What's been the proudest moment? So we've had a lot of setbacks in the beginning. You know, we tried uh, dehydration, uh, kind of conventional dehydration, freeze drying. All of that uh, produced a very, very terrible, terrible product. You can imagine if you heat an avocado with air for 20 hours, it doesn't uh, do very well. So um, we had a lot of uh, technical challenges in the beginning, but um, after you know a couple years, we we basically figured out this process and nailed the product. So mm -hmm. once we sort of um, Nailed the product, we went to Expo, and that was sort of the first time we've really shown it to the public. And the, the response was amazing. It was totally. it was better than we ever expected. So yeah. so that was that was a pretty great moment for us. Awesome. And so where can people find it online? What's the site? Uh, avocadochips.com. Very good. Yep. Awesome. Go to avocadochips.com. Live from pro, uh, live from Sweet and Snack. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.